Hey all, it's November 30th, 2021, which means that the 5K is officially in the rearview mirror and we are fully into marathon training. So let's talk about that in a little bit, but before we talk about it, let's go on our runs. Avocate. Hey y'all, good morning, Andy here. We are done with the wives half marathon training run. It was a fart like day. Now we're heading back out for my training run. As you know, the 5K is done, done, done. So we're full on into uh, marathon training for the Austin Marathon now. We have, it's like about 12 weeks to go. And today is a VO2 max day. It's like a chop down. It's like half of a Yasuo 800, full Yasuo 800 workout. Uh, Cause it's early in the block. We're not doing the full workout. So it's a mile warm up today. Uh, five times half mile with a quarter mile recovery. The up portions are supposed to be, um, it's my neighbor driving by, just honks at me. The up portions are supposed to be uh, at your goal marathon time, just translated down. So like three hours, 10 minutes becomes three minutes and 10 seconds, so on and so forth. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I have a little bit of soreness kind of in the right quad. Um, not really sure what that's from. Didn't really feel it during the long run on Sunday. So we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway. Let's hit the streets. Hey, we are done with the interval portion. We'll talk about it more when we get back home, but for now, we have a little over, a little under, sorry, mile and a half back to the house. So nice, easy, easy run, easy cool down pace back in. Good workout. It's a good workout today. I'll see you back inside. Today's just one of those days, you know? Um, man. So first of all, I've been sitting here fiddling with the camera. I kept pushing the little play button or record button and nothing was happening. Realized it was the wrong setting. Recorded all of this once already, only to realize that I had turned the shutter speed accidentally all the way down to 1 15th of a second. So everything was like blurry, um, like movement lag in the video. But anyways, let's try this again. So. Just got back from the run 
and it was actually two runs because my wife is also training for the Austin Half Marathon. I'm doing the marathon. She and uh, one of her friends are doing the half. So I went on her run with her, which is three miles and some fart lake work. And then I came back and did my own run and then went out with the Labrador for just a little bit. So my run was 5.75 total miles and it was a mile warm up and one and a quarter mile cool down. And in between there, I did five half mile repeats with a quarter mile recovery. Now, this is like a modified Yasso 800 workout except cut in half. And the reason why it's cut in half instead of the whole workout is because it's kind of early in the block. Now, as you know, right, I I normally like to do kind of a 16 week block for marathons, which is what I did going into Chicago, but I also wanted to try for a fast, uh, fast for me, turkey trot time. And I did get a good time, didn't go under 18, but it was a good time. But anyways, so to prepare for that 5K, I did a six week block. Now we are, I think I, I looked at the countdown clock today. Let's see if I still have it pulled up. Um, looked at the Austin, here we go, here it is. The countdown clock for the Austin marathon, it's 11 weeks and four days away. But anyways, so just this is like uh, 12 weeks out essentially. But to go back to 16 weeks would have been in the middle of the 5k block. So I'm kind of doing this like weird Franken block of training where uh, we had six weeks of 5k training or mostly 5k training, 5k speed workout with um, still ramping up the long runs on the weekend. And then now we have 12 weeks heading into the Austin marathon. So anyway, uh, it's still pretty early in the block. So I don't want to do like the full Yasuo workout, save the full one for later. So today I did a half of one. Now, obviously it's a little modified. I, I run my watch in Imperial. So miles, not kilometers. And the Yasuo workout is really designed to be done on a track. Well, I don't have a track easily available to me. So I do the workout on the street. And instead of um, changing my watch over to kilometers, for the for this specific workout, I just do miles and I do half miles instead of 800 meters. Now half miles a little bit longer than 800. So um, ideally, the time that I'm wanting to get, or the time that you would want to get doing the 800 meter workout, if you can hit that same time, you're actually doing great because you're going a little bit further distance. If that makes sense. Anyway, um, the point of the workout when you do the full workout later in the block is it's 10 800 meter repeats. Again, we only did five today, but it's 10 total. And you really want to um, do like your marathon time, move the decimal place over one or two, whatever whatever the proper terminology is, to scale it down to minutes and seconds as opposed to hours and minutes. And then you do your 800 or half miles in that amount of time. So for example, if you're aiming for a three hour and 10 minute marathon, you want to do your 800 meter repeats in three minutes and 10 seconds. So three hours comes down to three minutes, 10 minutes comes down to 10 seconds and you just wanna hit those times, you wanna hit the exact same time in the recovery quarter mile. So you also wanna do three minutes and 10 seconds or less in the recovery. Today, fortunately, we hit all of those times. Uh, the times range from like three minutes and eight seconds down to like three minutes and three seconds on the half miles. So feeling pretty good about that. The workout was, uh, you know, not, it wasn't like it was, you know, wrong everything out of me to get to get to that time, to get to those times, but it was still, you know, challenging, particularly for early in the training block. Um, kind of as a general picture with about 12 weeks to go, the way the training block is, is looking is through the rest of December, which starts, well, when you see this, it's going to be December 1st, but I'm recording it on the 30th of November. So December builds and builds and builds. We get to a long run of 18 miles and then we go on vacation and vacation is I think it's like six weeks out from the marathon so it's a perfect time to have like the reset week I'll still run quite a bit on vacation but less than what I'm doing you know before and after let the body recover get over any like nagging injuries that sort of stuff come back in January um, the first week of January is the first full week that we're back and we will ramp back up so that way the last three long runs in January will be 20 miles, 22, back down to 20. And then we're full on into the taper after that. Then we'll go down to like either 14 or 16, something like that. And then like 10 or 12 for the week before the marathon. And, um, you know, the, the peak long run is definitely shorter than in Chicago. I went out to like 24, 25 miles, something like that. I think it was 24. And 
I don't really know that I got a lot of benefit out of it. I think I think getting up to 22 is going to be plenty good, particularly because um, you know the pace at which I'm doing the long runs is slower than the marathon pace, so time on feet should be about the same, right? So the 22 miles should get me close to like three hours and 10 minutes, or at least the goal time on feet in the marathon. So I feel really pretty good about the workout. Again, kind of the weekly flow goes long run on Sunday, Tuesday, Thursdays are like specific workout days. The rest of the week is just getting in uh, recovery miles or easy pace miles uh, just to continue building that aerobic engine. Um, let's see if I got anything else other than that. I think that's kind of all I got. Today's run was good. The weather is kind of unseasonably warm a little bit in Chicago this week. It's going to be up in the 50s. This morning was like, I think the last really cold morning where it was in the, in like the 20 degree Fahrenheit. Going forward this week, it'll be kind of in the 30s. Um, yeah, looking, really looking forward to it. We have a, a little weekend getaway in Miami to Miami here in a couple weeks that I'm excited. We'll do some running maybe down on like Miami beach or a couple of the trails, the pass along on the ocean. That's what I mean to say. So I'm excited to take you all along for that journey when we get to it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just a good, good run this morning. Uh, <laughs> a lot of brain farts, not really working with the camera. I had to retry this multiple times got it recorded, messed it up still, and now here we are for the second go. So sorry if that rambled kind of kind of a little bit. I'm pretty prone to doing that in general, but I don't know, with, with the camera and I just messed up the settings, you know, it's just going even further. But anyways, um, I guess in the comment section below, let me know, are you training for a race? If so, what race and when? And how long do you like your training blocks? You know, talking about the marathon distance, some people do 12 weeks. I think that seems really short. Some people go all the way up to like 20 or 24 weeks. That's quite a lot. I mean, I guess if you're ramping ramping into it well, that's a perfect amount of distance. Um, or if you're if you're coming off like a longer down period, maybe the extra few weeks is great to kind of just get back in the in the flow of things. But anyways, for me, 16 is the sweet spot. This time we kind of have this weird like Franken block of the that's total 18 weeks, but the first six wasn't marathon specific. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's enough for me. You know, subscribe if you want to. If not, I guess that's cool. Uh, it's uh, more subscribers would be great. I mean, more people that we can uh, kind of go on this journey together with. Like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it, or if you didn't like it, or if you have some feedback because I'm always available or would love to have your feedback. Um, hit that notification bell so you see when new videos come out. Not quite daily, but, but you know, they come out several times a week. Anyways, thanks for listening to me. Thanks for any feedback you got. Thanks for any tips on the training. And I will talk to you later.